We don't know much about this girl. She doesn't speak much English, but her caregiver is in a street gang. They were living in a kung fu school, but a recent fire left them homeless. They're currently staying with other gang members. Of course, an agent from Child Welfare will be handling the case, but I'm sending you because of the great danger. We know that this particular gang has recruited a large number of mutants. Mr. Argent, what's going to happen to this girl when we find her? You said she doesn't speak much English. Does that mean she might be deported? Most cat girls in this country are purchased from farms in China. They come into this country as freight or through fraudulent adoption, so she's probably not here legally, but she won't be deported. Unfortunately, she probably doesn't know that. When you find her, she may try to run because she's afraid of being sent back to the farm or to whoever bought her. I've looked up a useful phrase for you. Wu Shi Keiji Ying Xiang Wu Xiang Wi Nin Fu Wu. It means, I'm a superhero, I want to help you. If she laughs, you probably didn't say it right. The child welfare agent, Miss Chen, will be here soon. Do you have any questions? Where does this gang she's hanging out with hang out? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you knew. She's with the El Diablos. I don't know where they hang out, but you can start by questioning Bruce Lee Fan, the owner of the uh, Kung Fu school where she was staying. Hey, Mr. Argent, uh, what does this little dinosaur eat? Dino Nuggets. All right, are you ready to try this out? I sure am. Okay, open the cover on your belt buckle and hit the button. I'm Miss Chin, the child welfare agent assigned to this case. Before we get started, I need to tell you I can't talk to this girl, and those cards Mr. Argent passed out may be useless. I'm from Hong Kong. I know Cantonese. The cat girls are farmed in an area near Qingdu. They'll probably speak either Mandarin or Sichuanese. I know it's all Chinese to you, but they're different languages. Bruce is from Taiwan. And she seemed to understand him. Then she probably speaks Mandarin. Those cards might work if you can pronounce them. Are you one of the people who reported this situation? Yes, ma'am. I'm Kathy. Kitty is my friend. Good. Maybe she'll come with us if she trusts you. Anyway, let's get going. My fan is parked right outside. They give you this assignment because somebody assumed you could talk to the cat girl? No, they gave me this assignment because I have a van. Bruce, I think we can reopen the school Monday. All the serious damage is in the back. The classroom and weight room just got some smoke, and the office is just fine. The fireman said the fire started in the dumpster. Villainy! A van just pulled up outside with a bunch of superheroes. Crap, what do they want? I don't know, and I ain't sticking around to find out. Come on, Kitty, it's time to go. My toy! Call me when they leave, okay, honey? Of course. I'm alone again. Hello, Mr. Lee Fan. I'm Miss Chin from Child Protective Services. Swan song. <laughs> Egg, my wings! What is this stuff? You got slimed, super fool! Billy, is that you? I'd recognize that mop anywhere. I'm not here for you, Tana. I want to talk to Kitty. You mess with one of the El Diabolos, you get us all! <sighs> Kitty, wait! We want to help you! Run home, Kitty. I'll take care of this guy. Listen, I don't want to fight you. I'm here to help Kitty. I've heard that speech before. You want to stick her in some group home with a bunch of strangers. We're her friends. We take care of her. She loves us. 
You've got her in a flop house with a street gang. She can't be safe there, and you know it. That's just temporary. Need a hand? They got away. What's Gadget doing down there? Hosing himself off. You missed a lot on your back. Let's go back outside and I'll hose you. I think we're done here. He's not telling us anything. Wait. May I speak to Lee alone? Sure, I guess. We'll be right outside. I apologize. I threw a hand grenade at you. Then I lied to you about it. I didn't know you had powers. I thought you would die. What I did was unforgivable. I did it for money. Since that day, I have been cursed with bad luck and shame. The only way I can make this right is to confess my guilt. I beg for your forgiveness, but I am prepared to accept my punishment. You told Shelly Green you cut all ties with gangs, but today I saw a bunch of El Diablos take off from here. After the fire, the El Diablos offered to help me fix everything. I couldn't refuse. You keep hanging out with the same people, you'll keep doing the same thing. You've got to cut ties. That's the same thing my mother tells me. Listen to her. If you will forgive me, I will take the fire insurance money and go home to Taiwan where I can start over. If you'll help us find Kitty, I'll forget all about it. Kitty, please calm down. We'll go back and get your ball later. Haven't you got a pacifier? She never acted like this before. Why is that ball so important? It's cause that girl Kathy gave it to her and she misses her. I brought Kathy and her ball. You promise you're going to take good care of her? Yes, she will have the very best care. Because of her special ability, she can't be placed in a normal foster home. So she will be cared for at Vulcan, where Paladin and his team are staying. She's not going to be fighting supervillains, is she? No, she's a child. Two million dollars for turning in Steelhead, and Paladin forgets all about us. I can't believe he fell for that. I knew he would. It's the art of fighting without fighting. Bobby Sue, whoa, ho, she slipped away. Billy Joe called up to her the very next day. They got the money, hey, you know they got away. They headed down south. And they're still running today. Singing, go on, take the money and run. Go on, take the money and run. Woo, woo, woo. Go on, take the money and run. Goodbye!